Just as a quick introduction, this was the BMW Ultimate Experience. It was at the Autobahn Country Club in Joliet, Illinois. And yeah, you got a track experience as well as an autocross experience. So in this experience, there were a lot of M cars and not an M2 though, which was kind of odd, but there were M3s, M4s, the M8 competition, and then the lead driver was driving a, a BMW M5. So lots of very expensive cars, and yeah, they did a follow lead, and we were in the M8 competition. This entire experience is completely free, and they offered two experiences in our area, but this one was actually at a track, so we knew that there was going to be an opportunity to drive on the track, so that's what we wanted to end up doing. So sadly, there's a person talking in our ear the entire time on the walkie-talkie, and in addition to that, it's not just track driving, it's follow leads, so you're not able to go full out on the track. I'm here with my cousin, and most of the video in car is of me in the passenger seat and him driving the car and he was in the auto mode because he wanted to focus on the track. Enjoy the video and let me know if you have any questions. In the M8 competition, it's a convertible. Oh yeah, this bar here. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I even on the side I can't find it because the thing was out, but Whew. And the AC was going the entire time too. <laughs> yeah. Oh there's a heads up display. Yes. That's what I was trying to look at because I was trying to look at the red line because uh, I was man. manually shifting, not on purpose. I would drive this. Yeah. Well, I can't <laughs> afford it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'd drive it. Uh, it's not driver, driver, is it? Um, no. Yeah. So I think it's an auto. Try to emulate what the first drivers were doing. Learning at your own pace. Taking at your own pace. <laughs> it's so driver. touchy. <laughs> really good. You know, maybe take some pointers from that if we saw some mistakes they were making. Yeah, should we do to prove that, but for the most part, there must be channel here. Oh. Dude. Channel 9. <laughs> Did I just switch off of him? You changed the channel. Alright. Okay, good. No. I was trying to turn so the back on. Track. Down. Track. Right, you touch the face to 9, and I touch the face to get to where you're ready to go. Yeah. Heads up display is actually kind of It's annoying. nice. Is it? It was nice for me because I was, I didn't know what gear I was in and... Uh. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Just real gentle break for the first lap. When 
actually focus on the car rather yeah, than yeah, shifting. Nice. Breathe out of the gap, keep the car in the middle, you that seam in the middle, you can kind of see that. I like to line the middle of my car, put the middle over with that seam for uh, how far I let the car track out there. Use it under the brake before the tube, use off the brake, squeeze into the power, just gradually decrease a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more throttle, easy the exit. competition was an amazing car. It was very interesting to go from something that I drive on the daily, the Tesla Model 3 Performance, to this car. And I haven't really driven a lot of performance cars on a track. Like literally the only cars that I've driven on the track, or at least at this particular track, have been my Focus ST, and I haven't even driven my Tesla Model 3 on it. This was an interesting experience and Obviously, the M8 competition being like over $140,000, it was very, very capable, which was interesting because it seemed like it was a pretty heavy car and it was overall a big car too. And it was also the convertible version and it was strikingly c capable. The transmission was pretty good. We're trying to fidget around with it, but the settings on it were kind of odd in that when we had it in auto, it would not really be in the gear that we wanted it to be in. I didn't end up recording my impressions when I was driving it, but overall it was very, very fun and super capable, so much grip in this car. And the other thing to note was I was manually shifting because when we were trying to use the auto function, it would not be in the gear that we wanted it to be in when driving on a track, even though we had it in all the sports settings, not the track settings, because you're not allowed to do that. So I think there might be another setting that we may have missed, but yeah, we I switched it to manual because it was not being in the gear that I wanted it to be in. And something that was great about the transmission is that it lets you over rev it and it won't actually change you out of the gear. So that's something that's really nice, especially if you're track driving the car. I imagine there's not many people with an M8 competition that are actually tracking it, but in this case, it was pretty cool. The overall interior space, the, the seats were super bolstered, but the weird thing is right down the middle of your legs, there's uh, like a actual like carbon fiber bit that looks like it's supposed to be for a three-point harness, but it's not, so it's very odd to actually have that in a car. So you're kind of like, your, your crotch is sort of in between this and it's not the most comfortable. And then in the back seat, the back seats, they're there to put stuff in it. It's, you really can't fit anybody in there with legs. Uh, maybe you can put a child seat back there or something like that. The car was an interesting color. It was a uh, green color and there are a few other cars that were interesting as well. I don't know, I would never choose a green car if I had a choice, so 
I would prefer a blue color of some sort. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, what? Here.